In differentiation, you're taught that your second derivative is less than zero at a maximum and greater than zero at a minimum. But have you ever thought about why that's the case? So you know that dy by dx is your gradient of your curve. It tells you your rate of change of your curve. Your d squared y by dx squared is the rate of change of your gradient. So here you can see your gradient is going down. It's negative here. At this point, it becomes zero and then it changes to positive. Your gradient is changing from negative to positive. It's becoming positive. So your d squared y by dx squared at this point here is becoming positive. It's going to be greater than zero at your minimum point. Similarly, here you have a maximum point. Your gradient is changing from positive to zero to negative. So here, your second derivative, your d squared y by dx squared, is measuring the change in your gradient. Your gradient is going from positive to negative, and therefore it's less than zero at your maximum point. So a decreasing gradient gives you a negative second derivative, which is a maximum. An increasing gradient gives you a positive second derivative, which is a minimum. I hope that makes sense.